Hello, welcome everybody. This is the graduation ceremony of the textile and fashion department. We're almost complete. There's one graduate in Sweden, but she's online connected with us. So he is so kind to share her with us. <laughs> so before we start, I would like to give a short introduction. First, I'm going to read to you the homage that I wrote to you guys um, as, a, as an opening of the recently launched digital platform Exposed. <clears throat> In these radically silent and transitory times, the world takes a breath and pauses before it exhales again. Right there in this gap, we find our shared humanity grounded in relatedness. Beneath the surface, roots spread wide, sharing resources and weaving a filigree that feeds the fullness of the moment and our collective experience moves from productivity into presence. So after four years of serious hard work, we have now come to a momentum in the development of you and your artistic practice as independent designers. This moment marks a new beginning, the start of your professional careers in the field of textile and fashion at large. So this is a time to celebrate what has been achieved, but also to celebrate what has been conquered. Your generation, the class of 2020, saw extremely difficult unpaved conditions when halfway March 2020, the corona pandemic hit our country and all of a sudden the Royal Academy was closed and we all had to switch to remote online teaching. Also, physical contact was restricted, which I still don't know how to respect when your profession is to actually dress the human body with a second skin. However, we all did what we could, trying to deal with and respond to this unknown situation. Working from home immediately led to some serious introspection and deep existential questions arose, such as how can I use my creativity to still express myself within these restrictions? What is happening at this moment to me, to my surroundings and to my beloved ones, to the world? What are the consequences of all this? Are there any positive opportunities as well? What's the meaning of my work now and how can I respond to this? How can I connect or how can I contribute? If we aspire to educate designers that directly reflect on what we call the signs of our times, then here was the ultimate sign, undeniable. Many of our online talks switched between this topic and our very personal developments. As a matter of course, all your work became even more intimate, connecting inner to outer worlds, a wish to work from your very own cultural heritage and to expose where you are now. Our yearly fashion show Exposed had to be cancelled. Instead, we developed an online platform that was launched last week. It's the homage to all of you. So first of all, I would like to thank all of you for your efforts and amazing resilience to deal with this current situation. It shows the strength of the talents and creative minds that all of you own big time. So we'll start with the first graduate, which is Eva. Eva Dimopoulou. Throughout her education, Eva has been developing and growing from a young, ambitious rebel into the true modern classicist she is today. With her decisive and elegant handwriting, she's firmly grounded in her Grecian roots, driven by an urge to contribute to social, political and cultural changes in society through her practice as a designer. By using discarded materials and local craftsmanship, she, she shows how to combine the sensual disintegrating delicacy of the past with structured monumental shapes for the future of brave independent women, unafraid to reveal the freedom of choice. So Eva, I think you've grown incredibly this last year, both as a person and as a designer by actually acknowledging yourself and embracing your natural talent. Your father is so right, so please allow me to repeat him once more. Whatever you do, wherever you are, never forget who you are and where you come from. So I'm wishing you joy, happiness and success. Congratulations, Eva. <laughs> Thank you. 
can now sign your diploma. Oh, oh yeah, we do first all the words. Yeah, this is the first time we do it like this. So. <laughs> first time for everything. Second person, Hanakin Hendrickson. I'm gonna talk to you online. This would be nice. <laughs> Hanakin, can you can you hear me, Hanakin? Great. Hanakin is a very thoughtful and sensitive designer, using her intuition and intelligence to create a romantic world that's carefully curated and undeniably hers. In her work, she challenges the whole concept of time in an industry that for too long has been obsessed with what's new, being the only definition of beauty, therefore suffocating itself. Instead, she turns inward looking for a more meaningful and personal connection with the objects she designs, using materials and everyday objects that already have a life, acknowledging and revitalizing the value of history itself. Through this introspective way of working, she's actually connecting to a big, inspiring global movement that shares these values. Asking for a shift in mentality in how we wish to be with the objects we create. This will inspire and define our future. Hanneken, you knew right from the start where you wanted to go with this project and you worked very consistently on getting there. And even when life itself was seriously defying you along the road, your amazing inner strength got you through. I want to applaud you for that and thank you for your beautiful poetic practice. I'm wishing you joy, happiness and success, Anakin. Congratulations. You're welcome. So personal, this. <laughs> so next online is Haley. Haley Kim is an energetic young designer with a genuine fascination for applying traditional crafts to modern design using fresh bold colors and materials that she creates herself. Inspired by knotting, both as a concept and as a technique, she managed to tie this in with the very own heritage. Starting off from a childhood memories of her strong Korean grandmother, connecting these with the culture of the Hanyo, the famous Korean female sea divers, to finally knot her very own sophisticated, sophisticated ropes, materials and shapes to dress brave independent women. Haley, it was wonderful to see the joy you experienced working on this collection, the making of the ropes, the textile museum, the flowers, etc. It was all very inspiring. I believe in the strength and the flow of your spontaneous ideas and the vitality you can bring to this industry through your refreshing approach to craft. I wish you joy, happiness and success. Congratulations, Aileen. So, here you Kim. He is a strong individualistic designer with an amazing stylistic eye for cool contemporary culture. By critically questioning stereotypical ideas on beauty and social standards, she wishes to transform and redesign those for a next generation. While working on the edge of chaos, she searches in a state of in-between where there's room for layering a multitude of tastes and perspectives, designing the yet undefined and untitled. A new aesthetic for a discipline that's in serious need for your kind of innovative originality. He, this past year, has been a bit of a bumpy road, but your motivation to overcome these obstacles was super strong. So I want to applaud you for that and for finally showing us your unique vision. I'm seriously impressed. I'm wishing you joy, happiness and success. Congratulations. Thank you. Then Tony. Tony is a very talented and skillful designer with a fresh view on high end sophisticated menswear. Working from very personal references, combined with a deep admiration for this métier, his designs are an elegant modern combination of daring sensitivity and precise tailoring. 
They show us how our identities may always be influenced by, influenced by others, but the true strength lies in allowing ourselves the freedom to fully occupy our very own space. Although we only work together for a short period of time, it has been a privilege to see how you started working with references that were very close and dear to you to develop a design language that's very promising. I want to thank you for sharing that experience. As you know, unfortunately, you will not yet receive your diploma since there are still some final assessments to be completed. But nevertheless, I wish you joy, happiness and success. Congratulations. Inge. Inge Vandering is a highly intuitive designer, continuously searching and researching to find, define and redefine her very own work that feels unmistakably true and authentic. She's a rare talent with an undeniable sensitivity and a free mind that she manages to communicate precisely through beautifully designed cloth and amazing garments. The moment we meet those, they immediately start to take us and connect us to many level, levels of haptic experiences, taking us by the hand to leave our well-known world, gently inviting us into hers, touching us deeply beyond our skin. Inga, I don't know how you do it, but every time I see your work, I'm deeply touched and moved. So I really want to thank you for that. I'm wishing you joy, happiness and success. Congratulations. Anna. So now we can go over to the signing of the yeah. diplomas. First is the email. You want to have the mic? Nothing. <laughs> Thank you everybody who was present with this on online and uh, we're going to continue now with celebration outside. So see you next time.